Uh, thank you all. That was a uh, very raucous uh, applause. <laughs> uh, I know it's very customary to thank a lot of individuals, uh, but I think it's more telling for me to thank the villages that helped me build this journalism career. So I want to thank several families. I want to thank my family from St. Bonaventure University, <laughs> which gave me many, many foundations. The Washington Journalism Center, which introduced me to Washington and its newsmakers, and then to the Washington Star, where I worked for five years, and next week will be the 35th year we have been without a Washington Star. But that paper guided me to know that I wanted to do cultural reporting. I wanted to get behind the scenes of what our newsmakers and helping people become newsmakers would be. Then of course is my family at the Washington Post, which for 36 years delivered challenges, inspiration, and great guidance to me during this career. It's also my family at the Maynard Institute for Journalism Education, which gave me a place in their fight for training, excellence, and diversity. And then there's my real family, who are sitting out here. And so, so I thank them for their love and support during those many very late night deadlines. And then finally to my NABJ family, for keeping the media honest and bringing old and new voices into our business. Thank you very much.